Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm really excited to do because I'm going to be bringing back my lip picks series. So if you are new to my channel, a few months back I was doing a video every single month called Lip Picks. And in there I was going through every single lipstick that I decided to wear on camera here throughout that month. And because I am pretty much a daily poster, I either post six or seven days a week. Sometimes I take Saturdays off, but otherwise I post a video every single day. I had usually 25, 26 plus lipsticks to go through. I was watching them on my hand and then also sharing the photo of me wearing that lipstick with the completed makeup look. And that series, whenever I would be like a little bit late posting, I was getting comments like, when's your lip pick video going up? I can't wait for the lip pick video. But I noticed that even with those comments, that video consistently was my lowest viewed video every single month. And because I was doing them every single month, I, I couldn't just say, oh, it was like a one-off thing or or whatnot. They were consistently very low viewed, which to me means people don't like that style of video. I always say vote with your views. Uh, videos that get higher views, I try to do more of videos that get lower views. That tells me people are interested in them, come up with a new idea. So I stopped doing them a couple months back and I've just been getting so many comments of, please bring back the series, where's your lip pick series? And I'm like, okay help me out. Do you guys have any suggestions? What is it that you want to see from this video? Because I would love to do it, but especially because I was sharing, swatching, uh, you know, all these different lipsticks. It was a really long process for me to edit those videos. They were almost as long for me to edit as my Will I Buy It videos, which is a lot of like sharing photos and, you know, sound effects and all of that. So they take me a very long time to edit. And then when it was consistently being super low viewed, I was like, okay, so I don't know. I think I should just stop. So I did, and then the comments started coming in. So I asked over on my Instagram stories what you guys would prefer or you know, any suggestions. And I saw two main things that kept popping up. People were either saying, you know, continue to do it how how you're doing it, share all the lipsticks, but um, you know, maybe format it differently. Go by the brand that you wore the most of that month. So show, you know, all five of those lipsticks from that brand, then all four from that brand, and you know, etc. Or people were saying, do like a top five, bottom five category, your top favorite lip picks, lip shades, lip formulas, and then your bottom five. So I did a poll over on my community tab, and at this time, I think it was like 78% that said to do the top five, bottom five. So that seemed to be the most requested. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me know if you like this style of the lip pick video, and if you want me to keep doing them. Uh, and we'll just we'll just see how it goes. So sorry that's a bit of a longer intro, but I wanted to explain why I stopped doing the lip picks video for those that were watching them and the new idea over here. Thank you to everyone who sent in their suggestions and also voted. So I have five different lipsticks here that I was really loving on. This is for October, but five of like my top favorite, you know, shades and also formulas. And then I also have five that are mostly formulas that I'm not a big fan of, and I will go through all of those as well. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I also did want to say I did just get done filming this video. This is my latest trying new makeup video and I was testing out some products from new indie brands, so I'll have that listed down below. I feel like everything came out pretty well. Um, the brows are a little bit on the, the crazy side, but if you're interested in seeing how I got this makeup look, I will have the video listed down below. Okay, so I am going to start off with my bottom five just because I like to end on a, on a positive note like I do with my makeup monthly videos. Okay, so I was testing out the new MAC Powder Kiss formula throughout October, also a little bit in November as well, and I'm just not a big fan of this formula. Uh, one of the first shades that I wore was Sweet No Sugar, and just not a big fan of these. I don't mind them. I don't think they're like bad lipsticks, but they're definitely not for me, and if I'm looking at all the different lipsticks that I wore in October, these would definitely have to go in my bottom five category. Sweet No Sugar is also, also a very, very pale uh, kind of pinky nude which isn't the most flattering lip shade on me I did end up pairing this with a lip gloss as well and I noticed when I was trying out the powder kiss lipsticks I was always having to put a lip gloss over them because just something about the formula doesn't necessarily like adhere to my lips the best and I just kind of felt after a very short amount of time of wearing it I felt like it was wearing away on my lips so almost every single time that I was trying out the powder kiss lipsticks from MAC I was wanting to put a lip gloss over them so so sweet no sugar um, again formula wise but also shade is not the best shade match for me so that would be the first one uh, I also did try out the shade Impulsive from the MAC Powder Kiss formula. I liked this shade a little bit better. It's more of like a brown nude but again I feel like looking at it like looking at it right here I feel like oh, okay that's going to be probably like a deeper brown on me but even if you can tell by the swatch it's just a lighter 
shade and when you apply these it's more of like a lighter wash of color onto the lips it's kind of hard for me to describe them i actually haven't technically even reviewed them i don't think i've done the follow-up from my first impression with these yet so this is kind of like my review here but it's just not a formula that I feel like is for me. If you're someone who you're into really comfortable lipsticks and just getting like a wash of color on the lips, you could really like these, but I'm more into like high impact. You know, I'm a big fan of liquid lipsticks. So that's my preference. So these just don't work out for me the best. And again, I just thought I was gonna get more pow with this uh, particular impulsive shade and I just didn't really get it. And again, when I was wearing them, I just constantly wanted to put a lip gloss over them so those are the two uh, MAC powder kiss lipsticks that I was not loving now I also have a Revlon lipstick here sorry you can see the shadows in the back I'm filming later but uh, I am gone I don't know when this video is going up I'm gonna be gone the week over Thanksgiving visiting my family in Alabama and so I'm trying to do all this pre-filming so I'm filming a little bit later because I'm trying to get so much filmed and done throughout the day so I can have videos going up while I am enjoying time with my family which I'm very excited about uh, but this here is from Revlon now I did recently review these whenever I do try new makeup videos I always come back and review everything let you know my full thoughts on them and so I just recently reviewed these ones from Revlon these are the super lustrous lipsticks and I said in there I don't know if these are particularly new lipsticks but they came in a, uh, a PR package that Revlon sent me recently so I was gonna try them out and review them and I I don't think that they are new someone did comment and say they've been around for a while which is what I've thought because I feel like I've seen these and probably use these at some point in my life but I also mentioned when I was reviewing these that I felt like they were kind of similar to the MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks I'm pretty sure I saw that in my review video uh, one of the shades that I wore was in Dare to be Nude I think this is actually what I wore in the trying new makeup video so I don't mind the shade it's you know kind of like that light pinky nude again I mean that's what you see a lot <laughs> just in general from me um, I don't mind the shade it's it's a creamy formula which I like but again just the long wear for me is not there and again I'm someone who prefers liquid lipsticks I like being able to put my lipstick on and go out and I don't have to worry about it I like to put my liquid lipsticks up to the test against nachos and see which one is still gonna look good after I get done eating my favorite meal which is nachos and um, these just do not last a very long time quite honestly though if I had to recommend the Revlon over the Mac I would say the Revlon I think they last a little bit longer than the Mac I think they apply just a little bit with a little bit more impact uh, and they're also cheaper you know Max is probably what 17 18 dollars and I think these are like eight or nine so um, I would actually recommend the Revlon more but again for me it's just not gonna be a lipstick that I want to be reaching for a ton the next one that I want to share about are these from Buxom. These are new products from Buxom. These are called the Pillow Pout Lipsticks. The shade that I wore in a video in October is called Cozy Up. And this is my favorite shade out of all of them that I tried, but I still just do not enjoy this formula. And again, I feel like with this formula, I'm kind of talking about the same formula amongst these last three lipsticks this one first of all the packaging the actual product is inside the cap and you don't get it's one of those powdery lipsticks again kind of like the mac where you're just kind of getting like a soft wash of color on the lips it's supposed to be just very almost like very natural but for me I don't like that so I'm trying to come into this cab constantly constantly to get more product on my lips so I have more payoff with my lip color so the packaging I don't love um, again this a shade is is one of my favorites it just happens to be the one that I wore in October but I tried out a couple different of the shades this one is my most favorite because it's the deepest nude but things that were the shades that were lighter I just felt like I really wasn't even wearing any lipstick they do stick around like okay it's just it's again it's not like a super long wearing lipstick for me they're more comfortable they also give you that little bit of plumpiness like a lot of buxom lip products do but I would much prefer like the buxom full-on lip creams full-on lip polishes etc to these ones because they just they just don't do it for me the final one that I have to share about is a liquid lipstick and this is from Sigma Beauty now I mentioned this recently in my makeup monthly for October and I actually put it in the fail section and it was super surprising to me because I've tried the Sigma Beauty liquid lipsticks in the past and I actually really like them this formula felt completely different to me it was very drying on the lips and very just like from the moment that I started applying it I could already tell that it was so dry and so crumbly like I said I do like liquid lipsticks and I also don't mind if they're on the drier side because that usually means that they're going to stick around longer but when it's so dry and just like 
crumbly around the lips and you're just your lips are just not looking okay that's not what I like I will say it's also a very very pale pink which sometimes I like to have just a little bit more of a, like a color impact for me personally with my skin tone this is a little bit too light for me so the shade wasn't my absolute favorite but also this formula just looked so bad on me again I'm very surprised I've I've really enjoyed the Sigma liquid lipsticks in the past that's why I immediately gravitated towards this one it came out in the new Viper collection I was like yes can't wait it's a nude perfect and when I put it on I was like oh no and I actually filmed it for a video and then I waited a little bit and then I went to film a second video that day and I was like there's no way I can film a video looking like this I have to put a lip gloss on so I topped it I think with like Becca Opal just to have something on the lips because I mean it looked bad on me from the moment that I applied it so unfortunately this one from Sigma would also have to go in my bottom five so those are five of my least favorite shades and formulas that I tried out through the month of October let's get into some happy news and talk about some of my favorite lip products Alrighty, so first up, I have a lip product from Huda Beauty. Now, I've talked about the Huda Beauty liquid lipsticks in the past a lot. I really enjoyed the liquid lipsticks, but I recently tried one of the new Demi Matte lipstick formulas, and I really, really, really like these, but also this shade in Day Slayer has become one of my favorite nudes. I think it is so beautiful. I really like the formula on this one as well. It's a lot thicker than her regular liquid lipsticks, but I still find it very comfortable and very long lasting. But honestly, this shade, I mean, come on, that shade just gets me going. That shade revs my engine. That shade does does all of those things that I wanna say. I love Day Slayer so much, but again, also really nice formula, very comfortable, very long wearing. So that is from Huda Beauty. Then I also tried out some new products from Ulta Beauty. So I did an Ulta Beauty try on haul and I had purchased quite a few products from the new uh, Dose of Colors Katie and Desi collection and I tried out their lipsticks. So honestly, my favorite, so I, these three are all pretty good. We have My Main, A Moth Story, and then the Over the Top Lip Gloss. I tried out all three, but if I'm picking my top, top one to feature in in my top five it is definitely going to be a mauve story these are described as a velvet liquid lipstick and I was a little I don't know I was a little confused as to what the formula would be like because I love the dose of colors liquid lipstick formula and I was like why can't you just have like the regular liquid lipstick formula I know some people say dose of colors is more on the drying side which again like I explained I can do drier lipsticks and I definitely those are not the driest liquid lipsticks I've ever tried these are even more comfortable I do get a little bit of transfer with these but especially if you let them dry down for a while I feel like the color or the long wear of it really uh, sticks around for a while that is a mob story and and I put it on, I tried out both shades in that video, but once I put on a mob story, I was like, I just fell in love. So this one would definitely be my top pick um, out of the three new Dose of Color lip products that I tried, but then especially just like in general, a mob story is so beautiful. Okay, I also tried out a new lip product from ColourPop, or a new lip shade, I guess I should say. This is one of the Lux lipsticks. This is a matte finish. I actually had Shannon send this to me, so thank you so much, Shannon. And I tried this out along with a highlighter. She sent me also on the cusp from ColourPop, and I was trying it out, I believe, it was in my... Um, my try to get ready with me about my latest book release, Scarlet. So I tried out the shade Electric Feel, and I actually really, really like this. I love the shade, but I also really like the actual formula of this lipstick, which kind of surprised me because I've tried some of the ColourPop Luxe lipsticks in the past, and I haven't been a huge fan of them. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the matte finish. I don't know. I feel like sometimes with ColourPop, they change their formulas a lot. Uh, from like product to product. I mean even if you're trying the same product I can order the same thing six months later and I feel like it's a different formula So I don't know if something changed over there, but I really really like this look at that shade I think it's so beautiful. It does dry to a more of a matte finish It's not transfer proof, but it looks matte on the lips But it's also very creamy to apply and I don't normally get that with the matte bullet lipsticks It's kind of kind of tug along the lips and then my lips can just kind of like look not uh, proportion. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. This is really creamy to apply, but then it gives you that matte look and I think the shade and electric feel is so, so pretty. So thank you to Shannon for sending that along because I've been really getting along with electric feel. And then I want to finish it off with two different Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Ofra Cosmetics has some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. If you haven't tried them yet, I would highly recommend testing them out. But I tried two shades here and 
Oh, doggy. Okay, so probably my top favorite, and this was also one of the first ones that I tried, but isn't Pasadena. Um, Ofra liquid lipsticks are not a new formula to me. I've tried them a lot in, a pa in the past. I have a lot of shades already. I actually got these, though, in a PR kit, and they are the new Ofra packaging, which had me really excited because I didn't have any lip products with the new packaging yet. When I put on Pasadena, I was so excited because it is a beautiful kind of like rosy mauve. And I just think this shade is beautiful. Again, I'm a big fan of this uh, liquid lipstick formula, but Pasadena, I was like, just give it to me. Just give it to me. I think that is so beautiful. So while we have a mauve story, that's more of like a dusty light mauve. Then we have Pasadena, which is that deeper rosy mauve. And I just, I love mauve lips. I think that they're beautiful and I love Pasadena. I think it's so pretty. And then I also have the shade Lost. Las o las. I'm not 100% if I'm saying that correctly, but I, one day I was filming a tutorial over for Instagram and I was going like all out fall. And when I was trying to decide of a liquid lip, liquid lip color, I found this one and I was like, you know what? That looks pretty fall to me. And oh my gosh, was this ever a fall lipstick color. And I just think it is so beautiful. So there is Lasso Las from Ofra Cosmetics. I think that that is a beautiful lip color. It's kind of like the terracotta-y vibes. It has some brown in it, but it's not like too brown. I just think it's so, so nice. So if you are looking, that's probably like the deepest lip shade that I have swatched in this video, but something I put it on and I was just like, yes, girl, get it. It almost looks a little darker on my lips too. Um, maybe I will continue to add in um, the photos of me actually wearing it on my lips because I felt like it, you know, these are liquid lipsticks so they dry a little bit darker, but I thought that one was so beautiful. So love the Ofra liquid lipstick formula. Those are two of my new favorite shades and uh, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Alrighty, so you have to let me know what you thought of this style of lip, lip pick video. Do you guys like this idea? If you have any other suggestions for me, let me know, but I'm totally down to try this a few times. Um, you know, do this every single month and see how it goes for the next few months and if people like this more. So uh, as I was, I always appreciate any suggestions that you guys might have, whether it just be video ideas in general or how to make videos better. I always appreciate it. Um, so thank you so much for all the feedback that you've given me. I'll have these lip products listed down below in case you're interested in checking any of them out. I will also go ahead and include this in my lip pick, lip picks playlist. <laughs> for some reason, that's hard for me to say right now. I'll include this style of video in my playlist that I had been doing. So if you want to check out any of the past ones, kind of compare them, you can feel free to check out that playlist. But thank you guys so much for watching and the continued support. Support. I hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.